I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the freaking frogs gay. Do you understand that? Turn, turn the, the freaking frogs, frogs gay. Bam, bam, serious crap gay. Frogs, freaking frogs, bam. It's not funny. I'm going to say it real slow for you. Gay. Frogs. Welcome back. Now we're going to give you the music chat, but we can't do a top 10 because it would just take too long. So we've decided to do the top 5. So here we go. Here it comes. And we're starting with number 5. Another funk top day in GTA. Oh, we got Solomon, hair clippers, or buzz clippers as some people call it. I, mean, I think some of these DJs are getting a bit lazy with their tunes. I mean, this sounds just really, really weird.
I really don't know how the younger gen dances to this. It's really, really weird. Next week is going to bring out the sounds of a washing machine or a hairdryer. Or any other strange appliance in your home. Maybe it's a blender. Who knows? DJ Ancient in 1982 again. by Footlocker.
now we're going to see who's rocking number one. Who's number one in the chat. So here we go. So it's Poster to go by Cat Dennings featuring the Boulder Band. Yay, it's Cat Dennings' latest song. We need to catch up with her really, really badly, but I'm so glad her music is still coming to Earth from Mars. since Dewey and Dewey was awesome I've just been told off by the producer that I can't keep mentioning Cat Dennings all the time I've got to cover other celebrities younger celebrities which I don't think is fair so we're going over now to the agent to now meet Poster Girl who you've just watched in the latest number one video and how she's doing before Cat Dennis, which is really unfair. Apart from singing 
and creating amazing songs for the rocker chick that she is. Her favourite pastime is shopping. But as you know, it's very dangerous going shopping in Los Santos. Because people try blowing you up. As you probably all know from the year old video of a hot, hot look. So now we're going over to what else you're buying? Oh, shoes. Well, at least someone can buy some shoes. My credit cards aren't accepted anywhere anymore. So I can't buy it. How come she can get stuff and nobody else can with the virus? This is wrong. Maybe I want a new pair of jeans or leggings or jeggings. Ugh, them shorts are horrible. What is she thinking? Ugh, tactical stuff now. Oh, this girl's gonna wear that! And that's all ripped! No. No, that looks silly, it doesn't suit ya! No, stop it! They're horrible! You can't wear jeans, that gives you age away! Kids now wear leggings! Or jeggings! Oh yeah, nice glasses! I remember when glasses was an embarrassing thing to wear back in the 80s. You used to get picked on. Now it's Fashionable, and people can see one now. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, if you wore glasses, you were untrendy, and now it's trendy. So even people who can see want to wear glasses without proper lenses in them. And I had to get used to wearing jam jar bottom contacts so I could read the news. Because people didn't like glasses back in the day. Now back to poster girl. She also said after she likes spending lots of money in a clothing shop. She likes to prank the shop workers by acting crazy. But they don't do anything because of the commission. And it does actually look a lot of fun. uncomfortable but she's trying to blend it it does actually look quite funny <laughs> she's acting like it's normal I mean that's just crazy trying to ignore that <laughs> That just looks obscene. What is she doing? Oh, that's even worse. Oh my goodness, and the shop worker is just standing there. The shop assistant doesn't know what to do. It's so funny. This should be a program in itself. <laughs> I don't know how poster girl's keeping a straight face. It just looks so funny what she's doing. Just running around the shop and crouching and... It's just so silly! And it's hilarious because she gets away with it. If I did that, I'd be in big trouble. The police would have come by now, I'm sure. <laughs> Also, the producers just reminded me to say, go out and buy Poster Girls uh, music. No, not go out, because you can't go out at the moment. But you can download it off the internet. So get it off there and be safe. Now Poster Girls going shopping again after freaking out the shop assistant. Them skirts are far too short. No, I wouldn't bother with them. They look more like a belt. It's not very classy, is it? I like what you was wearing before in the old white Miami Vice style. Not this belt thing she's trying to look good, but it does it. It just looks silly. What is she thinking? What is that personal shopper doing 
But there again, the personal shopper with her is clearly wearing a monkey outfit, so you shouldn't take fashion advice off a six foot monkey. Oh no. It's happened again. Why is it every time a woman goes shopping in this town, some idiot turns up with a bazooka or blocks the entrance with a car? What are they thinking? It's just stupid. You're either mourning because you can't afford to buy anything in here or you've got mental issues. And that math tells me you've got mental issues, whoever you are. So you're just stupid. I mean, it's not very human of you, is it? Strange, strange person. What are you looking at? Yeah, poster girl. Yeah, you stare at him. The weirdo. Yeah. I'll just pick mobile up and I'd ring the police and get them to come. But well, I suppose staring contest, okay? What's he doing? He's trying to break his own hand. Trying to hit the glass. Doesn't he know how tough glass is in GTA? You can shoot at it and it doesn't break. It's like the bushes that are stronger than cars. Physics doesn't make sense. Oh no, it's an alien. I knew it was weird. The conspiracy of these stupid shop people what keep trapping me in shops. And other ladies in shops that look alien. I knew it. I mean, how did that bullet get through the glass? It's meant to be practically bulletproof. Yeah, poster girl, try it. Let's get it, little green man. See? It's bulletproof. Poster girl proved it. So what was he thinking? So how did he manage to get a bullet to hurt her foot? Oh, no, he doing more things with another car. He's just so immature. He's so juvenile. But if you... Oh, now he's blowing stuff up. Well, that's real mature, isn't it? Silly, silly, silly little green man. At least she's out and about now. It's just a shame, because with her going shopping and now she's wearing one of those teeny weeny little belt skirts so now she can't get changed and ah no none of a celebrity no she oh she's alive it's okay i'm just fed up of all these celebrities on this show what keep dying oh no the shop is closed all right oh Oh, you're going into the town. Oh, oh, no, you can't look up. you got to look away unless you're 18 plus. This next scene has nudity and aliens in it. So it will be disturbing. From. She's way too young. She wants to be around then. So why are they playing 70s tunes? Oh, and you're all weird looking at her leg. I wish my tattoos were like that. Then I'd be able to get change it and get rid of like loads of exes names Which I really regret having put on me Like a really 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 long list But have you seen them tattoo fixing programs? They don't really fix it because you can still see what's underneath if you look at it long enough It's like looking at them pokey circly pictures in the 90s and people could see like boats and cars underneath and that a small percentage of people like myself couldn't see it. So it got really, really annoying. But it's like that. Tattoo fixes for them kind of people. And unfortunately I can see the old tattoos underneath. So, yeah. So, this is a bit silly. You can't change. Once you get a tattoo, you can't do that. Unless you've got money for the laser removement treatment. And even then it looks like you're scarred. So, be really careful. 
of what tattoos you have put on Cause a tattoo really is for life from bigger celebrities like Kat Dennings. Come on. Really? You have to do this now. Whilst you've got an audience. Can't you just do this in your own time, please? And always get a proper tattooist if you're gonna get, get one. Because you don't want your mate doing it and bunching it up and getting blood poisoning and things. The alien has trapped her in the shop again. See how this is just awful. As you can see, there's more alien footage. Now, is it proof that aliens do walk among us and trap us in shops? We all are. I mean, that's the point, isn't it? You know, I'm writing a book about philosophy. You see, I've got this huge core of love. It's just embalmed in ego. Maria! Hello, Dave. It's been a long time. Too long. Far too long. Oh, I'm sober now, by the way. So I won't piss myself if that's what you're worried about. I'm on a spiritual path now. Shouldn't we be going? Good idea. We'll just let the boss do the driving. <sighs> no more flying. Aside from the astral super highway. Peace and love. You're under arrest. Kill him. Calm down, Dave. He does not need killing. Poor little fella. You're under arrest. <sighs> and you've lost your gun. Yes. I, I have, but... Forgive me. One love. Exactly. Now, let's get to the disco. Calm yourself, love. There's enough bad karma in the universe for a lot of us. My karma's just fine, okay? He was a scumbag. Ha! <laughs> Too right. Is this the club owner? Talk about the best celebrity ever, Cat Dennings. So here we are, we've got another bit of a sponsor. So go out and buy it right now because it's a lot of fun. I know because I've got it. So it's such a good game. Battlefront 2. So here we are, currently on Mars. 
from Kat Denning's perspective. Because she lives there, if you all remember. And now we got a drone view of Kat Denning's on Mars. As you can see, she's gone to the little town centre. So this is what her new home looks like, or her new local town, after such a long time on a spaceship. Bigwig wasn't lying about Mars being ready for military action. Go 